Hey there guys, what's going on? It's Knock, welcome along to the stream. It's a brand new week, and with a brand new week, we are going to be starting a brand new game, having finished off Mirror's Edge at the weekend. So, this is called Hugh. This was a recommendation from Hugo B Designer over on the Discord. Uh, if you've got any games or anything you'd like to recommend to the streams, please head on over to the Discord and... Um, should we have a link for that somewhere? And um, feel free to join us and recommend and get involved with the awesome community we have over there. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in. And I don't really know a lot about the game, I'll be honest. Uh, it's simple sort of jumping and moving by the looks of it. The background's kind of cool as well. I'm not sure that the um, mouse is going to do much, but we'll find out. All right, so it looks like I've got some sort of letter here. I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. The traitorous Dr. Grey tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of color. Some call them impossible colors. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Grey, maybe. Anyway, something went wrong. I turned a strange shade and became invisible. The ring, it, it fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this coloured plane. What's going on, Matt? Welcome on stream. Hope you're well, buddy. Nor interact with anything. In How the are you world. today? So I left. I left for the university where I hid away the coloured tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. Okay, so Doctor Grey has come, and he's something. He's done something. He's turned everything grey. So I guess it's going to be our job to. Restore colour to the world, maybe? Maybe that's the, the deal behind this? I don't know. I uh, also apologise for like, the lack of audio on the um, start of the voice dialogue there. I forgot to turn on my streaming settings, but... Uh, hello. Is it story time? Oh, it's nowhere. Oh, that's quite cool. Didn't expect to be able to like move the books. I thought they were just part of the background. That's a nice neat touch. Can I? Yeah, I can smash all these. Let's smashy smashy. I can be a vandal too. Hello. Anyway. W. I am pressing W. Nothing appears to be happening. I'm gonna press W. Uh, well, okay then. Maybe I should try with my uh, controller instead. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. All right. Interesting. All right. So now W is working. What the hell? Game! Alright, I will try and use the keyboard and mouse. Nice little harbour area here. Hey, left ship to talk. The fisherman caught a glimpse of something. Something unusual. Down past the lighthouse. Okay. Let's go into the lighthouse. Ooh, maybe that's what they caught a glimpse of. That unusual colour thing there. Or is it this? So we found part of the colour ring, I guess. Yeah, knock streaming, man. Acradable. Achievement unlocked. That's restored blue to our world. Interesting. Since the beginning, we have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. 
That's quite an interesting point, actually, because I see colours as, like, one colour, and, and I've had this conversation with people before. The pe some people per per say colours are a different colour to what I perceive them as, so... Uh, but yeah, what's going on, guys? This is a game that Hugo B. Designer recommended to myself quite some time ago. Um... And, um, yeah, it's, it's all about colours and different bits and pieces. So, that is what we are doing right here. Guessing we can, like, do something cool there, I guess, in the future. So we need... Okay. So we need, like, some other colours, maybe, to pass through here. Interesting. Nice sound effects. Hello? Hugh, is that you? Thank goodness, I've been trapped for days. Help me get out of here. I keep hearing noises because it's creeping me out. <coughs> Go away, sticky keys. Oh, okay. Okay. Achievement unlocked, showing true colours. Interesting. Slow mo. I don't know, Aaron. Do you see the colours the same way? When you enter a cave expecting a waterfall, the chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations. Block. To pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is, but for what it can be. I can't unselect a colour then by the looks of it. It looks like. It's so like once you've like put a colour a certain in a certain place, you possibly can't get rid of it. So I'm probably gonna need like a secondary colour before I can um, do any further with that section, I guess. I guess there's probably gonna be some like colour blending as I mean I generally don't know a lot about it. Hugo recommended the game. I mean sure we can turn everything to like water. Oh, hello there. You startled me. I'm just resting my legs. Don't play close to too close to the water now. Cause yeah, that would be blocked off before I had this, right? Anywho. Mono portal puzzle. <laughs> Left shift to pull. Okay. Left shift to push as well, I guess. Yep. There we go. Oh, maybe I need to actually. It is from the other side. So I need to go over and then drag it across. Now, it's all about not doing the colours too early here. There's no crouch key though, so I can't crouch. Unless what I do is... Let's have a look. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So it seems like there's a lot of things here. Oh well, dead. 
first blood. Uh, seems like there's like a lot of things here that we're potentially going to like want to come back to as and when we get like the ability to like turn these colors off. So it's quite interesting. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can. Um, maybe they'll roll down and we can use them to step on, right? Yeah, that works. Look at that. Now we're screwed for going back, anyway. I wonder if the rooms reset. Do the rooms... Do rooms reset? They do. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. So there's obviously 28 of these little potions, which are secrets. Something to keep in mind. I mean, there's no way of going, like, back that way now, though, is there? Okay, maybe we should have gone back. No. Here, we're just going to have to, like, run. Oh! Well. Duh! As the music intensifies. You always know you're in for a chase. Kind of reminds me a bit of a um, game I played... Once called uh, Guacamole. Like these sort of scenes where you've kind of got to um, like race against time almost to beat things. Like a side scrolling game. Uh, so now I just guess we. Um, Mirror's Edge. <laughs> it's happening again! I actually watched um, over the weekend, Aaron, after I'd finished, I watched some guys like speedrunning it in an hour. It's pretty, pretty freaking impressive to watch that sort of game. Alright, now we can go up to here. Nope. Thank you, go up there. That's what I want to do. So maybe I've messed up slightly by like not going back already. Ooh. Hello. Hello. The Color Elder. That's what I'm going to call him. What's up? We have purple. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Color dot get purple or shrinking violet. But now we can change like the colours and stuff, so that's quite interesting. We can now undo things that we have previously done. Did you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum? It's the hardest colour for our eyes to distinguish. Now Imagine a shade one step further than purple. A colour beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colours. And I fear that this... This is where I currently reside. Oh. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or... Or at least I hope you Not colour is the hardest colour to spot, apparently, I'm according sorry. to the dialogue. Existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. I'm just checking, like, as I walk along. So I'm, like, pressing the colour button. Um, just checking, like, just in case there's, like, any, like, hidden weird things that I can't see because of the colour I currently have. Selected. So I wouldn't pass. I wouldn't put it past the game developer to sneakily hide something like that. So this is pretty obvious what's going to happen here. Let's 
wszystko. Kuku. Right. Do, 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 do. It's like a, it's, it's quite cool that the whole the game seems to be based around like the colours that you perceive and the colours that you can actually see. I quite like that. It takes me back to um, reminds me of when we played Chroma Gun like a long while ago. Oh, okay, right. So, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Ooh. Third colour. My goodness. The colours are coming so rapidly. Quite surprised that it didn't start off with like primary colours or something. We have orange. Orange. Wow, okay. Stream support. So it begins. Nox Kidney plays Hugh. If you come here from that tweet, thank you very much. Welcome along. Don't know who stream support are, but you are awesome guys for tweeting out the stream. Thank you very much. Alright, so now we have three colours. Three colours to play with. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Grey. Summer had come and gone in a cold the fact that his name's Dr. Gray questions where this is actually going to go. I hope his name, first name is not Julian. When a cool or else we could be uh, my notes across the lawn. in for some interesting content. Page escaped my reach and took flight. If you get the reference. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work. You could probably get like a good like speed run thing going on here if like you could have the if the changing was on like a uh, number keys. It's funny here. You could change so much more quickly than having to like use the mouse to change everything. But uh yeah. Anywho. Moving swiftly on. Well, that was a good guess. Oh, isn't this where I was before? Ha, huh, okay. So this is where I was before. I've done a big, big loop. Okay, so let's head back to... Let's head back to the town. I'm sure this is where I was before, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So now that we have this, maybe we can do some bit, bit more over here. Oh, we need pink. That's not purple, that's pink. Okay. So pink for that one. Hey, Master Miner. Oh, hey again, Hugh. Thanks so much for saving me earlier. Those caves sure gave me the creeps. The creeps. Ooh, okay. Interesting.
Doesn't help me get over there though, does it? Alright, not sure what that's going to do be for just at this moment in time. That's our house. I'm sure there was something else, wasn't there? Ice cream. Uh, no, it's um, sure. I'll I'll go check again. But um, that is a it is actually a lighter color. It's a lighter shade. So it's um, to me that's pink, not purple. I'll go and verify that fact, Aaron. Just two seconds. It's my house. I'll stop doing that. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong freaking button for jump, that's why. Duh. Hey, we got that one. That's something right. How did I not make that? That's pink, man. That is definitely pink. As you can see, look. As a contrast, the two colours. That's purple, that's pink. Maybe you are colorblind, Aaron. All right, so let's head back down into the caves. You can't like side sip off ladders either, which is a bit annoying. Yes, okay, so that's orange. We can go down there. There was something else over here, though, wasn't there? There was more in one of these areas over here. I'm sure. It's like an up a bit, wasn't there? It's quite good actually. I like this. The fact that the more colours you uncover, the more sort of background you kind of get, and the more that unlocks like in the areas you've previously been to. I quite like that. I think fall damage is a thing. I get why you. I get why you get the um, similarities to um, uh, Limbo though. ASD definitely um, with like the black face and like just the weird eyes. It was then that had like the weird eyes, wasn't it, Limbo? I'm sure it was. Inside. In Limbo and Inside. They're the two games, aren't they? Yeah, there was a, a ladder higher up somewhere around here. That I didn't get to before. And water clearly kills me. Nice tranquil soundtrack as well. I quite like it. Really nice. I have to like, go all the way around here again now, aren't I? I didn't really think this one through. I have to, like go all the way around here again. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. Didn't think that through at all. But there's things that I missed. I must go back. It's in my nature. It's in my nature. It was this one. This is the one I want to go back to. Yes, this one. Okay, so. See, I couldn't go back before because there was no way. I guess it's not a very big game though if I've already like found five of twenty-eight of the things, but that's all good. That's all good. Oh wow! You can even do that. That's interesting to note. Interesting. I just felt like cheaty. Or was it just me? I 
Maybe it was my experience with Chromagon that's made me better with colours. But yeah, I just feel like I'm like whizzing past this right now. Got that one, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh, come on. Surely I can like jump over that? That's crap. I don't want to go all the way to the end and then all the way back again. Oh, seriously? Right, let's start doing that. God damn it. I could just do this, right? Give myself loads of time. Not that I need it, but... Um, yeah, I'll just wait for it now. There ain't no cranes here, Aaron. There ain't no Mirror's Edge flashbacks. There's no cranes. I wouldn't say it's hard. Um, I'd just say it's um, it's got a distinct distinct set of like movements and mechanics you need to learn in order to be good at it. To be fair, I think the fact that I like complete the game in the fact that I can com complete the game in about six hours, I think that was pretty good. I didn't really rage that much. Come on, Aaron. You can't you can't say I raged. Surely. I didn't rage that hard. I had a few moments where I was a little bit annoyed. I wouldn't say I raged. Rage is like how I reacted when I messed up the music puzzle on The Witness. That is rage. I mean, if you want to pinpoint those locations on my entire playthrough where you think I raged more than normal, or like over the I raged over the top, be my guest. <laughs> be my guest. See, there's no like like go back to start area kind of thing on this. You know, do all this all over again. Kind of sucks a little bit. You'll see on Aaron's channel later on today. He'll have like a, he'll have a knock rage compilation. <laughs> there you go. I'll make a compila compilation of you raging. I just do that though. It's so much easier to do that now. Now that I have the other colour. Forgot them. That'd have been rather silly. But yeah, these bits are like so much. These bits are so much easier now that I have like a third colour. Yeah, again, I could just do it like this. What am I doing? It becomes so much easier when you get to that point. Making it so much harder than it needs to be. Classic knock. Over complications. Well, I think I should be nearly back to where I was before. Which would be good. And then we can head on down that ladder. And look at the next thing. I could just do that as well, you know. I don't know how I ran through that before. That was a bit cheaty. It didn't quite work right on the game. 
I guess because I'm already like either through it or because it's the last colour that I um, selected. Maybe that's the reason I can get through there. I wouldn't really call that raging though, if I'm honest, but hey ho, tomato tomorrow. Not going to argue this case. Alright, so we're back. Finally, we are back. I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm assuming it just like automatically saves my position. So, all right, so we can't go that way. We need red and yellow. Got to go down here. Doctor Gray soon became my assigned mentor. And I can't I've played games like this before, though, which kind of like, as you go through, you just like listen to a narrator telling the story. It's quite nice. It felt like we could achieve anything. We discovered more about colour than I could ever have imagined. We split light, matte spectrums, we painted. We laughed. We worked long hours and soon our gold became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us. And we knew it. No, the witness was the ultimate rage because I threw my microphone across my desk and um, oh, I can't get through there. I threw my microphone across my desk and then didn't talk for the rest of the stream and the rest of the video. That's how you know it was a bad rage. That's bad rage. To me, the, the mirror's edge thing, that wasn't bad. But Hey. Alright, anyway, let's crack on with this puzzle. That's mad. That's crazy. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's green. It's like a whole new colour that I don't even have. Oh man, this is this is this is gonna get super trippy, super quick. Quick. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because the simple fact I have a actual expensive microphone now, rather than a cheap like five pound microphone. So um, I will not be reenacting the witness rage moment at all anytime soon. Oh yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. That works. And now we can go over here. Up to here. Not really sure what we need that one for, but hey ho. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. My bad. Don't really know why we had to. I don't know what the box is there is for. Not entirely sure. I don't intend reenacting it, Aaron, honestly. Probably gonna want that down there, right? I'd guess. You can already start to see right now how this game is gonna be real soon by the mixing and the matching of colours here. Okay. Mwah, slow motion. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so.
We got ourselves a key. Fantastic. Right, through here. Okay. Oh. Really? You want to be like that, do you? Fine. We'll play like that. We'll play like that then. to put this like a bit more to there maybe this one maybe let's stay there I guess all right oh fiddlesticks what now Alright, so, <clears throat> I need to change it to orange. That's too much. That was too much. A little tiny more bit over here. Oh, wait a second. I see what I need to do. I see what I need to do. All right, so. You, my friend, will come all the way over here. And then you are going to go, say, oh, I don't know, maybe about there. And then you can come all the way over here, like so. You can go over here. What about there? Perfect. And then you go through there. And this one comes over here. And that way, what I should be able to do is this. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. But yeah, you see the idea? That way we don't have to worry about like them being two at once. Oh, nearly. Nearly had it. Nearly had it. Hey treasure guys, what's going on buddy? Ta-da! Did it. Excellent. Ha! Okay, so... I change this to blue, that drops down. So maybe what I need to do first is this. Nope. Oh, I gotta do the other one first. I have to do the other one first. So, then I can lower that, I guess. Like, ooh, no. Well, now I'm just trapped. Well, that ain't good. I just run. Running is the best thing here, it seems.
Whew. My goodness. That was intense. Puzzle game that revolves around puzzles. Well, what puzzle game doesn't revolve around puzzles? Oh, snap. So oh, good, treasure ghosts. Oh, good, buddy. The last last color color one I played was um, I did my chroma when I played chroma gun. Achievement unlocked. A pigment of your imagination. Yeah, chroma gun was cool. What was even cooler about that is I got it for free, thanks to the devs. You're not getting under my skin. Wow. So punny. So punny indeed. This 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 is gonna be frustrating. No, it's not. I think I handled that pretty well. Pretty darn freaking well. If I do say so myself. In the future, currency will be debts. Oh, it looks like we get another colour. Hosa. What colour will it be? There's got to be an aspect of this though where we're going to be, um, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to be like mixing and matching colours. There has to be. What colours are going to be? It's going to be pink. Pink. You know what's going to be frustrating now though, don't you? It's going to be like we're going to be like having to differentiate between pink and purple. So that's your difference right there, Aaron. Back to the fuchsia. I love how these. Um, Achievements are all like, um, I know you can't see them popping up, but they're all like punny. They're all pun-based achievements. I like that. It's pretty cool. And we have another letter. It's funny. I don't remember much after that day on the grass. I do know that Dr. Gray and I spent many a time together. Ooh, did you know? I would compliment him on his work and... Maybe his name was Julian. Would flush with a pinkness. <laughs> He'd notice and change the subject embarrassed. This work we were doing together, it, it didn't feel much like work anymore. Alright, I'll have to come back for that one. Also, I've got to take this all the way down to here with me. It's quite a nice, relaxing soundtrack. I will say that. I'm feeling nice and relaxed right now. I 
Oh, yeah, wait, that was a dumb move. Push. How am I supposed to do that? Hmm. Maybe there's something else that I'm missing. Like getting up here, maybe. Let's try doing that first. Yeah, maybe we use the pink one. There we go. Not like that, we don't. Oh. In which case... Can I get across here, please? Jeez, come on. I love how the background sort of like moves as I like do key presses and stuff. That's pretty smart. I like that. Boom. There we go. Huzzah! Just bin that off, bin that off, and do that. Pink. Oh dear God. All right. It's going to have to be blue. Nope, can't go that way. Can I? No. Which way am I gonna... Get rid of them. And get it from this way. There we go. See you later, Aaron. Take it easy, buddy. Taking it easy. Easy like a Sunday morning. There's got to be like a secret or something hidden there, surely. Going like a different way or something? One would assume. So I've got to literally... Oh, okay. Looks like I have got to go up there then. Can I even jump that high though? Can I... Oh, hold on. These are draggable. Yeah, okay. Alright. These are draggable. So... more sense. And then... Oh. Orange, blue, purple, pink.
Not sure that makes much sense though. Oh, it does. Hold on. It does. We do that. And then the other one wants to do something like this. Cancel those ones. Bring that one all the way across here. that, we can now push this one to the edge, oh, that was a cool little puzzle, puzzles are quite, are quite, are getting a little bit more, uh, need to give a bit more thought to them, definitely, now, this is a box, this box cannot be moved, it seems. But we can move it. By doing something like this. Can't make the box invisible, but we can make everything around the box invisible. Okay, and this one goes to here, like that. And then we do this. Then we need the blue box. Oh, do we? Is there another coloured box? There is, yes, there had to be. I'm not sure how I'd get it though. I can't push that through. Yeah, that's what I was wary of. I was pretty sure I couldn't do that. Say, there's a quite must have been quite a bit of thought gone into this like this section like here especially um, to ensure that there was like no trapping situations as such. It'd be very easy to get like trapped on one side of this puzzle. All right, so now I have this. I mess things up. But they've so like they've, they've just like left just enough space. So yeah, good work on that guys, developer guys, whoever you are. Alright, so now with this one...
Now I can take... Give myself a bit more space. this one over here. And then... Okay. Onto to there. Excuse me. I feel like I've done something wrong. No, I haven't. Because now I can do that. Pull this one back. So, oh, I know about there. Change the light to orange. I probably change to pink. Because pink isn't the colour used in this puzzle. We just need to release ourselves out uh, here. Boom. Interesting. the other side, don't I? Alright, so let's try this a different way. Let's try this a different way. If we did this instead. Well, that's going to need it down there, right? Now I can drag this one. That's going to be needed down the bottom, isn't it? Like so. Mm -hmm. Now, you, now you're just being silly. Now you're just being silly. Alright. 
Oh. Alright, this is... Pay attention, concentrate, and we'll be okay. I need to wrap it up in a moment as well. Almost out of time. There we go. Got it. Could have just used pink. Pink would have been so much easier there. Oh my goodness. That's the last colour we need, right? So. Uh, that was the first colour we had. Oh man. Purple isn't purple is knock. Knock is purple. Everyone knows that. Purple best colour I know. Oh yeah, no, that wouldn't have worked before anyway. It's all about like just the speed. Kind of like need save spots and checkpoints on here. Oh no! Oh no! Let's get to the end of the section before I call it a day. Yeah. Come on, guys, have you not heard of F6? Jeez. F6 is best, I know. No, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So close. You have to try and change in the air, because the minute you touch, start touching them platforms, they all start, like, crumbling into the, like, blow, so... Alright. No. No, no, didn't jump. Didn't jump. Oh wow. Oh, did they come back? Oh, interesting. That's good to know. I want to drop down there. I'll tell you what I'll do there first. Let's do this the smart way. There we go. Got it. All right, so.
Oh my goodness. This is insane. Do I have to push that all the way across? Oh my goodness, I think I do. Unless I get like that one from up there. Because that's just going to be crazy to do all that. So that's how we get to the exit. Oh, hold on. Now I see. Now I see. I can pull it from the other side. Right, okay, I got this. Yeah, I would agree. The puzzles are quite nice. I'm quite enjoying the puzzles. Full show. Excellent. And it looks like we have found yet another colour. The colour master. So what colour are we going to get? We'll get this colour and then we will wrap up the stream because we are out of time, guys, today. For this. What's it going to be? Red. Everybody's favourite colour. Five colours. Caught red-handed. All right, guys. Well, that is going to bring us to the end today. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a look at the map. Let's look at the map. It's going to be quite interesting. It tells us how many of the things we got as well. So, um, looks like we've explored like half of the area. If, if this is everything, we've explored probably half of it right now. So, we've got probably another half to go. So, it may only um, keep us going for two or three streams. But um, enjoying it nonetheless, guys. Always links are on screen. Please go check them out already. Uh, if you haven't done, already done so, I kind of messed up a little bit there. But um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, continuing on with Hugh. Until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.